Hello everyone, I am Udita Chudasama from Bit Oxygen Academy. Our topic for discussion in this video is the fundamentals or basics of a computer security system. As we all know that the internet has transformed our lives in many good ways. But unfortunately, this vast network and its associated technologies have also brought the increasing number of security threats. Now, the most effective way to get protected from these threats and attacks is to be aware of standard security practices. So, this video presents an introduction to computer security and its key concepts. Now, let us get started by discussing what is computer security. What does a computer security mean? Computer security means protecting the computer systems and also the information stored in the computer from any harm, threat and also unauthorized use. Computer security is generally termed as, as the process of preventing and detecting unauthorized use of the computer system. Now to achieve this security system, we have a simple and widely applicable security model that is called CIA trait. What is CIA trade? CIA is a security model which stands for confidentiality of data, integrity of data and availability of data. These three key principles should be guaranteed in any kind of security system. system. If any one of the three principles can be breached, then it can have serious consequences for the communicating parties. This principle is applicable across the whole security system procedure that is from access to users internet history to securing the encrypted data across the internet. The first principle in the CIA trade is the confidentiality. Let us discuss more about confidentiality. So what is confidentiality? It is the ability to hide information from those people or users who are unauthorized to view that information. information. As you can see in the image, if there is a user A and a user B, user A is the sender and user B is the receiver. User A has a message, attack is postponed. Now, user A will send the message to user B. To achieve confidentiality, there should be some mechanism which has the message confidentiality as attack is postponed should be received only by the receiver which is intended to receive the message. Any third party should not be able to read this message which is going from A to B. Confidentiality is one of the principles which is attacked the most often. While transferring data from one computer to another, if cryptography and encryption methods are used, then it is an attempt to ensure confidentiality. Second principle in the CIA trade is the integrity. Integrity is the completeness, accuracy and consistency of data or information while transferring from one user to another user as you can see in the you can see in the image there is a user a and a user b user a is the sender and b is the receiver user a will send a message attack is postponed so the same message should be received by user b without any without any modification as the left image shows attack is postponed is sent by user a same message is received at user b attack is postponed there is no modification done in the message on the other hand user a is sending a message attack is postponed but the user b is receiving a message called attack is preponed which shows integrity is not maintained in second example so this should not happen in computer system 
so the data must not change during transmission from one user to another and necessary steps must be taken to ensure that the data should not be altered by unauthorized people or user while transferring the third principle is the availability availability is important to ensure that the concern information is readily accessible to the authorized user at all the times whenever they require sometimes there are security attacks which attempt to deny to deny access to the authorized users and give access to the unauthorized users for example breaking a website for a particular search engine and by doing this a rival may become more popular than the authorized user as you can see in the example there are two users accessing the same information if both users are authorized then they should have the access to the information but if one user is authorized and second one is unauthorized then the authorized user should only have the access to the information so this was the discussion on basics of computer security for more such interesting videos please do follow us on instagram at bitoxygen_academy and also do not forget to subscribe on our youtube channel that is bitoxygen academy stay connected to bitoxygen academy and thank you for watching the video